Welcome back to Dummy Boy Finance. I'm Dummy Boy, and today I want to talk about Fubo TV, ticker symbol F U B O. So, Fubo TV has gotten a lot of hype the last couple months. It recently IPO'd and it skyrocketed like crazy. And now we're coming down. We've lost a lot of share value. And now the question is is it time to buy Fubo TV? So, Fubo TV is an online streaming sports service. You pay a monthly subscription to Fubo TV and you have access to all their streaming services. If you look at what's happened in recent years and even the last decade, we have started to see a shift from your traditional cable to many different streaming services. You have your Netflixes for TV, movie, you have your Spotify for music, for podcasts, but you don't have something really for sports. Sports is a huge market. When I say I believe Fubo TV has the ability to knock on Netflix's door and be a giant in the streaming service, I don't say that with a light tone. And the reason for that is when you look at a Netflix, you have to create content. You have to put in a lot of money to create a product and then you have to put that product out and it gets either positive or negative reception from the audience and you make money based on retention. Sports are pretty much endless. There are narratives in each sport. You have your idols in each sport. You have your loyal fans who follow each sport. There is no need to create any content. The content is there and being the service provider that allows us fans to watch the sport gives Fubo TV a huge edge because it doesn't have to worry about content creation. The content will always be there to be created. All they have to do is be the service provider that people choose to use. I think that is a huge component to why Fubo TV will be successful in the future. The first thing I always do when I look at a company for the first time is I like to go to their website and I go to their finances. So right now I am looking at Fubo TV's most recent Q3 presentation. First thing that you can see is from Q3 2018, we have seen an increase in paying subscribers. So as a growth company, I like to see growth. Fubo TV is growing. That's a check mark in my books. Next thing, you have your average revenue per user. Clearly again, has also been increasing year over year. Another check for Fubo TV. And then the final chart that they have is the contribution margin again, also increasing this company is getting bigger this company is making more money and this company is scaling into a larger audience and people are becoming more active on fubo tv so quick glance at their total assets they have about 800 mil and their total liabilities are only 290 mil so their asset to liability ratio is really good as a growth company i in the short term don't really care if the company is losing money I like to see things like, there, are they growing? Are more people going on to Fubo TV? Are they getting more subscribers? So kind of how we gauge a Netflix, their subscriber count, the same type of concepts apply to Fubo TV. And everything that we have seen is that they have been growing year over year. Because they're in such a niche category in sports and it's such a big category, they already are going to be very well positioned to be successful in the future. But the one acquisition that I think they made that brings them over the top is right here. When we saw on December 1st, Fubo TV acquires Balto Sports as first step into online sports wagering market. So I'm not going to read this article. You guys can go on the site or maybe pause it right here and read the article if you want to. But pretty much Fubo TV wants to enter the sports betting market. So not only are you going to watch sports off of fubu tv but you are also going to bet as men we are very simple creatures we don't live too extraordinary we live very basic we like sports where people hit each other we like sports you put a ball inside of a net we are very simple creatures but what we love to do is we like to bet money sports betting if we look at DraftKings, if we look at pro line if we look at all of these sports betting platforms the one thing that differentiates Fubo is that they have the service to stream the sport and then they're going to have the rights to bet on that sport on their platforms. I think that sports betting platform is going to take them over the top and that is one of the biggest reasons why I love Fubo TV for the future. And I say for the future because there is always a good time and a bad time to buy a stock. That brings me to Fubo TV's chart. 
So right now I'm looking at Fubo TV on the hourly. And so I have marked down four lines of support and I have them kind of labeled as this being the first line of support, this line being the second. And then this is where I would open a position on the third line of support, but I'll get there a little bit later. So what we have seen so far in the last little bit is a lot of selling. So you can see down here, the volume has been strictly red. We have been going down since we hit our highs at around 64. And we recently today at market close, we did bounce off this support. And now we are hanging above the support line. Do I think that's a bullish move? I mean, it's better than being underneath the support line, but based on what we've seen in the past, do I expect Fubo TV to go a little bit lower? I do. I think right now we are looking at a play that is overhyped. There's going to be a lot of negative news coming around it. We already seen an article where an individual said that this company is worth $8 a share. That short seller's report has accelerated this momentum to the downside. I do expect that to continue throughout 2021. We're also looking at markets at an all time high. And today we had a pretty bad day in the market and you could see how a Fubo TV reacted. So again, in the short term, this is definitely not a good time to buy Fubo TV. Fubo TV is going to go down as a pioneer in the sports streaming and betting services. And I think this is going to be a leader in the future. And there's going to be a lot of other companies that are going to try to duplicate this business plan. But these guys are going to have the edge. With that being said, when you are a pioneer in your own space, you have a lot of headwinds to deal with at the beginning. First one being regulations for betting. Some states don't allow for betting, some states do. You have to deal with jurisdictions, you have to figure out what regulations apply, where you can bet, how you can bet. So there's gonna be a lot of regulation issues that Fubo TV is gonna to have to figure out before they perfect the wagering aspect of their business. The second point being there are no fans in the stadiums currently, so as a fan and somebody who watches it on TV, you get to see the energy in the stadium when you have fans. So when you take out that aspect, you have to really enjoy the game for what it is. And I feel like for sports, that is going to be a headwind that they have to deal with. I definitely believe years down the line, when fans are filling the stadiums again, this won't be an issue because of what's happening with the pandemic and how the energy in the stadiums are not the same. This will have a little bit of impact, the number of people watching sports. That also being said, if their numbers end up staying steady or even grow in 2021, you have to understand how big the sports market is. Regardless of if there's fans, there are loyal fans watching their respective sport, watching their favorite athletes perform, and that will never change. So 2021 is actually going to be a very indicative year to let us know if this type of business model is going to succeed. Because right now there are nothing but headwinds for Fubo TV, which is why I think they will go lower. But because of those headwinds, we will truly see if this company is going to become the beast that it will. And I think it will. And so I do have a target set of when I am going to buy the stock. Right now, I am just letting the hype die down. I'm letting the dust settle. I'm gonna watch this from afar, keep it on my watch list. I'll try to keep you guys as updated as possible. Right now, Fubo TV is not a buy, but yes, Fubo TV should be on your watch list. This is a company that has huge future prospects, and I think it is going to knock on the door of a Netflix to be the biggest streaming service, and it's gonna be a pioneer in its own industry where you're gonna have an online sports streaming service and wagering system all in one. So I know that was a lot of information to take down real quick, but if you guys like this video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. This is Dummy Boy Finance. I'm Dummy Boy, and I'll see you guys in the next one.